Today we are taking a break from beauty to do an updated apartment tour. As many of you know, I moved across country and left my tiny 400 square foot, very rustic cottage in Minnesota, moved across country to the Hudson Valley in upstate New York last fall. I felt very lucky to find a very unique, historic, antique apartment in an old 1800 schoolhouse just blocks from the Hudson River. Many of you enjoyed my empty apartment tour that I did before I moved in and I talked a little bit more about the history of the apartment as well as my first holiday in my new home. I will link both of those videos in the description box below. If you are excited to see my six month update in my new apartment home, throw this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Now, please keep in mind, I am not a decorator and I moved across country without a stick of furniture and my budget is definitely on the slim side. So setting up my new apartment home is an ongoing process, but I am having so much fun with it. It's really a mix of hand-me-downs, some thrift store finds, and of course, a few new things. I will link whatever I can in the description box below. You know, I would say my style is just fill it with plants, color, art, really just things that make me happy. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the apartment tour. Every single time I enter my apartment, the space and the light just seems to welcome me home. I love the open concept with the kitchen opening directly into the living room. I love those huge south facing windows and the 14 foot ceilings. This is definitely the biggest, the most updated, and the most beautiful kitchen I have ever lived in. The cabinetry is beautiful. This huge countertop is a joy to work in. And you know, they really did retain the historical charm. That blackboard is from the original schoolhouse. And I love, like I said, I love the cabinetry and they even have these really cute little display, glass display cases, which I still have not yet purchased interior lighting for. And with the glare, it's a little hard to see. You know, the only new thing since my last tour is this SimPure reverse osmosis water purifier, which has saved me a ton of money. I will link that in the description box below. And many of you commented on this cute little vintage style toaster. I will link that below as well. Anyway, like I said, this kitchen is a dream to cook in and I absolutely love it. And here is a view of the kitchen from the living room. I absolutely love that arch. The thing I love the most about this apartment is the space. It is 900 square feet, which is more than twice as big as my tiny cottage. And with the 14 foot high ceilings and the huge south facing windows, it actually feels much, much bigger. The very first piece of furniture I purchased was the couch from Bob's Discount Furniture Store. It was only $500. My cousins gifted me these two darling chairs, this beautiful, beautiful rug, and the coffee table and that side table came from my grandmother's house. I purchased the shelving unit off of Wayfair. I'm still working on styling it. This beautiful oval antique oak end table has quite a family history. Originally, it was a set of two, and I remember these in my grandparents' house as I was growing up in Minnesota. Then my grandparents moved to Florida, and they were in my grandparents' Florida house. When my grandparents passed away, my cousin in Minnesota inherited both of the tables, and she used them for many years. Then when my cousin moved to upstate New York, she is the cousin that lives just down the street to me. Anyway, when she moved, she gave me the end tables, and I enjoyed them for a very long time in my house. Then I sold my house downsized to the tiny cottage and I did not have space for them. So I put them in storage where they remained 
until I moved to upstate New York. I had to clean out the storage unit, so I gave them to my dad. Now my dad and his wife RV six months out of the year and they visit family across the country. So my dad brought both of the end tables to his Florida home, decided they didn't quite fit in his Florida home. So then he dropped them off at my sister's house who lives in Boston. And again, she didn't feel like they quite fit in her house. So my sister brought them here to upstate New York. My cousin took one, I took the other, and it's just full circle. So these went from Minnesota to Florida, to Minnesota, to Florida, to Boston, and to New York, where they have finally arrived home. I think that's a really fun story, and I'm so happy to have it again. One of the things I absolutely love about this apartment is all the wall space for art. This area above the sofa has been a bit of a challenge. When I first moved in, I put three vintage prints above the sofa, but that felt just a little bit dreary. And then I put an antique mirror up there with a couple of prints on either side. That just didn't feel quite right either. What I was really craving was color. So I pulled out all my colorful art and I created this gallery wall centering around my daughter's self-portrait that she painted many years ago. And I'm really, really happy with it. It just brings such happy color into the living room. And here is another view of the living room from my kitchen. And to the left is my bedroom. This is my favorite place to have coffee in the morning and watch the sun rise to the east. And I love how the ivy creates patterns over the windows. Right behind those books, a morning dove made a nest and she hatched two sets of babies. It was so fun to watch them grow up and fly away. And I loved hearing the sound of the morning dove. Here is a view from my bistro table. Moving from the dining area to my makeup area. This beautiful roll top desk was left behind by the previous tenant. This is where I store and apply my makeup. Now I'm not going to show you my makeup storage now because it is a little bit of a mess, but I do have a video on my makeup storage, which I will link below. I love displaying my lipstick collection. And above is the painting that my aunt painted. Beautiful, bright, happy floral colors. And these flowers I just picked this morning from my cousin's garden. Zinnias, daisies, cone flowers, and some greens. And look at that cute, cute little bumblebee. You will recognize this also as my filming area. This is where I sit when I film most of my videos. I wanted to very quickly show you my filming setup. Now those windows are south facing and I don't have shades quite yet. So I have to sort of adjust the light that comes in from that side with a ladder and adjusting the curtains as the sun moves across the sky. I sit in front of my desk. I have a couple of backlights on the artwork there. And I try to balance out the light from the window with the light on the side there. Anyway, it is an ongoing process. And at some point I have to invest in adjustable blinds, but they have to be custom made. So that's a pretty big expense. One more thing, because of the high ceilings, I normally put some moving blankets on the floor, but I do have a new microphone that is supposed to reduce echo. Hopefully it is working. Anyway, I thought it would be fun for you to see my filming setup. Moving on into my bedroom. That huge red wool rug was a gift from a friend. Absolutely love it. And once again, the huge south facing windows let in tons of beautiful natural light. 
Now I'm basically on a hill on the third floor, so privacy really isn't an issue, but I do have curtains that I can pull as needed. My cousin built a platform bed high enough so Bosley can see out the window. And I do have the ottoman there so Bosley can get up and down from the bed more easily. Now these three vintage uh, landscapes used to be in my living room. I don't know, you can't really see them very well because of the glare. And while I did not love them in the living room, I absolutely love them in my bedroom. I find them very, very soothing. And again, just treetop view, beautiful privacy. And there is the vintage mirror that I picked up and vintage dresser, which I love. And tons of closet space. One thing I did not have in my tiny cottage was any closet space whatsoever. I find my bedroom very relaxing, very serene. I sleep really well and I love having the light wake me up in the morning. To the left of the entry as you walk into the apartment is the bathroom. You know, it's a surprisingly big bathroom, especially for an apartment but I really haven't made any major changes since my last tour. I love the fact that it has a washer and dryer. I really enjoy the vintage inspired tile, but like I said, I really haven't made any big changes. I think the bathroom is going to be my next project. This is the first time I have lived in an apartment since my 20s, and I am really surprised how happy I am here. The building only has 12 units. All the neighbors are lovely. The yard is huge and far off the street, so Bosley can run around off leash. I'm just a couple blocks from the Hudson River, cute coffee shops, and the farmer's market. And my cousin lives just down the street, so I can hang out in her yard and help her with her garden anytime I feel the urge to get my hands in the soil. I am truly happy with my move to upstate New York and I adore my new apartment. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Have yourself a great day and I hope to see you in my next video.